Hi everyone, Donut here. Jesus Christ, there's some of you mean in the comments on the last video. Yes, my nails are painted right now because Heather and I had some drinks and she wanted to paint them and I'm not gonna say no because she's awesome. And yes, I might have been drunk in that video. It was a rough day and an even rougher month and I still can't talk to you about it right now, but it's gonna be a whole video in itself involving crazy people and attorneys. Like I said in the last video, I just can't talk about it right now. Let's talk about shootings. Oh my God, we're going to look at something that's never been seen, at least on this channel involving law enforcement, a drone being used in a law enforcement situation. I probably have like some other video out there where I may have accidentally thrown a drone in there and not realized that police were using a drone. I can't think of it though, because there's like 600 videos on this channel. Anyways, someone was caught in 4K on a drone being shot to death by the police. How sick is that? But first a word from our sponsor, Rocket Money. Do you wanna save money and spend less? Stocks. Today's sponsor is Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. What is Rocket Money? It is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. It's got a ton of useful features, like let's say you have some subscriptions that you've forgotten about. Do you really know how many streaming video subscriptions that you have right now? Those things really add up. It'll identify them so you can go back and cancel them. And you might be like, holy shit. Not only that, but Rocket Money has a ton of useful features like it'll negotiate your bills for you, monitor your credit, or set up smart savings. Its personal finance manager allows you to do all these things all in one platform. It's a very useful platform. You can save more, spend less, and join over 3.4 million people who are using it right now. Try it for free by heading over to rocketmoney.com donut or clicking the link in the description below. That's rocketmoney.com donut to get started today for free. Let's do shootings. Like, don't, don't actually go do shootings unless someone and like really deserves it because they're trying to shoot you or something. Don't do shootings, kids. As useful as drones and remote control stuff like this are, I'm super surprised we don't have more footage like this one. I've seen police departments blow money on some pretty ridiculous sh I just got it like a DJI mini for 800 bucks. I'm sure an entire police department can't afford it. Oh wait, they're all demonetized now. <laughs> it's really good for officer safety. And I kind of just really want to see more footage on a 4K drone of shootings. I mean, for fuck's sake, bomb robots got to be like 200 grand or something. A lot of police Police departments have those. Oh man, you know what that made me think of? Remember when the Dallas Police Department was the first law enforcement agency in the United States to blow a man up with a bomb robot? I remember. Gather around, kids, and let me tell you the story of R2 F you. Back in 2016, there was a bird that got kicked out of the army for, well, being a bird. He had sexually assaulted a female soldier, stole a 40 millimeter grenade round, and was just a shitty soldier. The suspect was a black nationalist and followed pages like the New Black Panther Party, Nation of Islam, and the Black Riders Liberation Army, all which are listed as hate groups. One day he decided he was super angry about the shootings of Philando Castile. Don't pull it out. And the shooting of Alton Sterling. As retribution to white people and especially white police officers, he started planning. The suspect took his Sega AK-47, a Glock 19, threw on some hard plates and headed over to downtown Dallas where they were having a protest over the deaths of Philando Castile and Alton Sterling. And then he shot protesters. I really saw the logic there, my dude. The suspect opened up on crowds of officers and protesters together, killing five cops and injuring 11 more people. After hundreds of shots being fired between the suspect and officers, he barricaded himself into a nice little funnel where in order to get to him, officers would have to go down a long corridor and then turn a corner. This is not what you would call tactically sound for police officers. People are gonna die. See, you got him cornered into this room where you have to go down a long corridor to get to him, but he's not inside actively killing children, so you don't have to rush him. Any other situation you can think of, you need to rush him. Black negotiators talked to him for hours because he wouldn't talk to white negotiators, and they eventually decided, we just gotta kill this guy. He's not going to give up. Someone inside the building suggested that they use a 50 caliber rifle to shoot him through the walls. SWAT was like, my brother in Christ, you're in a college with sheetrock walls. We might kill him, but we'll also tag five college students and the old lady's dog across the street. Then SWAT was like, hey, what if we rappel down to the windows of the room he's in and kill him? 
not too dangerous. Then they were like, what if we open up the ceiling above him with explosives and then shoot down on him? They were like, nah, that's too dangerous too. We might lose more officers. They'd already lost five at this point. I would love to know which officer made the next suggestion, which worked out brilliantly. They came up with the idea to put C4 on their bomb robot and blow him up. So that's what happened. The robot held a little one pound brick of C4 against the wall that the suspect was on the other side of and boom, shrapnel everywhere into the room, suspect's dead. All right, enough of the history lesson. Let's break down our shooting for today. Hobo Hippie Town, Los Angeles, Texas. Friday, September 23rd, 2022, 9 a.m. Austin 911 received calls of a disturbance between a man and a woman regarding a custodial dispute. That's right, boys and girls, criminal domestic violence. You know what that means, super hairy, Pucker factor over 10 million. Very dangy. This call gets even hairier though. The woman states that a man has a gun in his pocket and he has even displayed it to her. <gasps> CDV, gun, children, custodial dispute. We might have to call in some cool guys with some cool gear. When the patrol officers got there, the suspect exited a vehicle armed with a handgun that was pressed against his temple. This could be quickly developing into a suicide by cop situation. But then he took the gun and put it back into his waistband. What does he want? Officers try their best to de-escalate the situation by telling him they did not want him to get hurt and please just lay on the ground. He told them that if they did not shoot him, he would shoot him. Fucking <laughs> selfish asshole, dude. Dude, this seriously looks like a scene from Sicario or something. It looks like a Hollywood movie. SWAT arrived on scene and started evacuating houses in the area while the suspect continued to pace around with his gun in his waistband. The SWAT officers decided to try and take him into custody using less than lethal means, meaning tasers and 40 Mike Mike ouchie rounds. The big rubber bastards that don't feel very good, but it might make people drop their weapons. The best way to do this is behind cover and fortunately for the officers, they have some of the coolest f***ing moving cover ever. A bear cat or something similar. It looks like a bear cat. I don't know. All those things look cool and big and neat. Whatever their big, cool armored vehicle is, or according to Reddit and Twitter, a tank that is regularly used to only oppress people of color. Something that they got from the army for free and they only use it for situations like this so people don't die. They move up and deploy two tasers and some 40 mic mic rounds, but it doesn't work. Police state that the suspect moved to pull his gun out of his waistband and that's when one officer who was across the street with a really, really good angle opened up on him. You can see the last shot the officer puts into the guy. The off button is pushed. He does that stiffen up thing and falls over. So he died on scene. No officers were injured in this situation. You guys remember a couple of years ago when I had the R2 <laughs> Q shirt and stickers? Brought him back. They're back on uh, Bunker Branding. So you can go to donutoperator.com and get the R2 <laughs> F*** you stickers and shirt at Bunker Branding again. Anyways, that's all I got for you fine people today. Thank you for watching my videos. I'm sorry when I get drunk and ramble on some of them. It was a really good time for me. I think it was a good time for most people, but there are some people out there that are like, stop <laughs> talking and play the police footage. Well, you re <laughs> guess what? There are like 20,000 other channels where you can watch raw police footage, and I'm really happy you come here for me. If you want to help support the channel, of course, donutoperator.com, patreon.com slash donutoperator, where I've been doing extra, a lot of extra content on there called Donut After Dark dad until next time this might be my last video until halloween i'm not sure everyone have a fantastic day Whack.